guy like Micah who's he's young, but it's not like he hasn't played. You know, he's kind of in that weird area between not being a veteran and yeah. being one at the same time. Yeah, I think it's just him. Um, he loves to have fun. Like, he is always smiling and stuff, and it's just a difference between, you know, him understanding, you know, when it's time to have fun and then when it's actually time to, you know, really be serious and lock in. Um, so I think that he's just trying to learn that right now, but he's doing a great job at it. Do you feel this is the deepest the linebacker room has been since you've been here? Um, besides my uh, freshman year, maybe? Yeah, probably. Um, I think we have, I don't know, seven or eight guys that could, that could probably play. You know, any 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 Saturday, so definitely definitely pretty deep. And do you think this is the most athletic as well? I mean, what yeah, just easily easily the most athletic. I mean, we have a bunch of big guys that are that are fast and and strong and can move. So definitely one of the most athletic people I've ever been around. How has the defensive line changed at all, if at all, from last year? Um, you know, we lost you know two big guys, you know, with Kevin and, and Sharif, um, but I think that we have uh, as saying about the linebacker position, there's a lot of young guys on the defensive line that are ready to step up and that are equally freakishly athletic. Um, so I think that there's just an opportunity there for you know some D linemen to step up, and I think that people will. What, what do those guys have to learn? Like how, how, what's the learning curve for that? Um, I think for some of the young D linemen that are some that have just gotten here, it's you know learning to you know stay in your gap and, and learning how to fight pressure, um, and then just you know for someone like PJ. Just learning, just to, you know how he can improve on his his game from last year. You know he he played in he may have played in twelve or thirteen. He may play in all the games last year. Um, just learning how you know he can make a bigger impact and uh, how he you know what you know small skills that he can improve on to get better. Does, does that gap discipline? Does that impact you guys? Yeah, you yeah. Because on? if they're lined up in our gap, we're going to have to make them right. Yeah. But you know you're not wor generally. I'm not worried about that at the start of the snap. Um, but I could happen, you know, and it, it does happen, and it's our job to make them right. But it helps us out a lot if they would, if they're in their gap to start. You mentioned PJ, um, you know, playing a lot last year. Mm -hmm. This off season and um, at the start of camp, how have you kind of seen him develop, or some things you've noticed? Yeah, he different? had an amazing play on. Um, I don't know what day is today? <laughs> Wednesday. On Monday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on Monday, he blew up the center um, and was quarterback was strong quick, and the quarterback couldn't even. Have, wouldn't have even gotten the ball off by the time that PJ was already deep, like four yards in, in his face. Um, so it's stuff like that that he's he's starting to do right now during camp, which is really impressive. I mean, he's he's you know bigger than he was last year. He's stronger, and his motor seems to be even higher. And so I, uh, it's really exciting to see what a young guy like that can can do. Is it difficult with you talk about the young athleticism? You no, know, talking about gap control, but just like in general, just kind of having to reel them in and. Make sure that they in practice of it, whatever it may be, that people aren't just they're focused and not just kind of running around. Yeah, I think in practice they're um, that we've shown pretty good focus. Um, sometimes it kind of it, it's happened a little quick for um, you know the, the third group. It's been happening a little um, a little fast for them at the beginning, and they're starting to get it more now. Just um, in general, of you know knowing, look at the call. The offense is running quick. You know, setting the front, getting lined up, and then knowing what gap you have to be in. But I think that you know we've we've been watching the film and, and correcting it, and I, they've, they've gotten a lot better. Two more for Jan. Jan, uh, your your recruitment obviously juxtaposed a lot of those guys in the room. You got five star kids, you got thirty offers, and, and you had a couple. But is it when you look around this room uh, and all those personalities? How do you see them come in? Highly established recruits like a Micah Parsons last year, now like Brandon and Lance. How are they coming in with, at, with humble attitudes and, and, and ready to work? Yeah, I think that um, because they under they were in here for spring ball, so they understand the difference between you know high school and college level athletes. Um, you know, you could have. I, I think that you could have you know ten you know five star recruits, and you know maybe only two or three of them actually are ended up you know looking like Micah and you know able to physically and mentally have the capacity to play um, at college. So I think that they are understanding of just it's it's more of the mental aspect for them than. Not that they're not getting it, I'm just saying then they're physical. I mean, if you look at Lance and Brandon, I mean, they both are physical specimens. So um, for them to, I mean, they, they, they may be physically ready to play. It's just, you know, mentally understanding, you know, all the all the, um, all the the defense and, you know, what's all happening. So I think that that's kind of just keeping them humble, just trying to continue to learn the defense right now. Did you see the journey last year on the scout team? And if so, how was he different this year? I cannot remember if Journey played um, scout team at all or not last year, but I mean, 
just even, I remember him in spring ball just being, you know, he breaks loose and good luck catching him because he's super fast. But the other thing with him too is he's physical too. So he's he's a big body. That's not, he's not afraid to hit the hole or run you over. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you saw during the live period down here. I mean, he was lowering his shoulder just trying to run our DBs over. So, you know, him, it, he's a, he's a, he's a, it's not a huge back, but a lower shoulder, and he can definitely beat you with speed.